Hi, this time around, I revisit my citizen bull head. In the previous video, I repaired this, but the chronograph doesn't work well. I'm trying a uh, cleaning and oiling one more time. This is disassembled and all parts are cleaned already. This is the first checkpoint. There are three wheels to be lubricated on this movement. This is the first one. If the watch stops or losing the amplitude when the chronograph is stopped, this may be the reason. This is the second wheel to be lubricated. This is an intermediate wheel for the minute recording. When the chronograph is stopped, this wheel slips to escape the blocking power, not to stop the movement. This is the barrel and train wheel bridge. There are a lot of pivots and I love oil into the holes. I'm using Stidun AO2A oil for the most, but any light viscosity oil like Mobius 9010 will be fine. I'm assembling the keyless wax. Actually, this video is the third trial to repair this movement after the previous video. I've been having trials and errors. I spent tens of hours on this movement. I tried different oiling and polishing some parts and so on so far. I think I experienced most of well-known issues of this movement. If you have any questions on this movement, please leave a comment. I'm not a watchmaker, but I may be help you a bit.
Back to the main side. I'm assembling the manual winding wheels. This uses a left handed screw. The ratchet wheel also uses a left handed screw. I used Seiko S4 grease for some parts. This is a specified grease for Seiko chronograph, so I thought this is good to use for this season. This is an important spring to reset the chronograph to zero on a flyback. I'll explain the details later in this video. This is the minute recording wheel. There should be a spacer for this wheel, but my watch doesn't have. This is the center chronograph wheel. This is the last wheel to be lubricated, not to stop the movement when the chronograph is stopped. I'm putting a tiny amount of oil in the slit. I'm assembling the chronograph block. My bullhead fails to start the chronograph sometimes. In that case, this module must have an issue. All parts should be able to move smoothly. I tried Seiko S4 grease at this time, but I noticed it looks too heavy or sticky for these parts. I'll try another oil later in this video.
I'm setting the cover with screws. If this is tightly screwed, the chronograph may be not able to start stop smoothly. This lever controls the mini recorder. In the case that the mini recorder is always running, this part may be installed incorrectly. We can check the module at this point. This should be able to move smoothly without friction. If there is too much friction, try to unscrew these a little. Uh, result is like this. Much better, but for my case, I still feel something is jammed inside. I'm setting the escape wheel and placing the chronograph module. A chronograph module is a kind of a cherry on top. I mean, even if it is broken, I can still use this watch as a standard watch. But for me, the chronograph feature is a must to have. The main side assembly is almost completed. The next step is assembling the dial side. Our recording related parts are on the dial side. First, I'm assembling the our recording hammer.
This is the blocking lever for the our recording wheel. Before finalizing the our recording assembly, I need to assemble the motion works and day and date dial related parts first. This is the last step to learn the chronograph. This tweaking is important to set the broken lever in the place. I'm using a double-sided tape as a workaround for missing feet. But by that, I had to take a time to adjust clearance between the our hand and the logo or indices on the dial and also hands clearance each other. This is a result of this round. In this round, I didn't replace any part. So I just cleaned parts again and lubed oil carefully. But unfortunately, nothing has been improved. The chronograph still failed to start. Also, the flyback fails. So, I decided to replace some parts. Actually, most parts. Fortunately, I could buy parts at a reasonable price from eBay. This is a spring to fix the flyback issue. Can you see the Difference? The point is the bottom left corner. 
if it is rounded, it is broken. This is a used part to fix the start failure. I disassembled and cleaned the parts and now I'm assembling the module. At this time I'm using only season AO2A oil. I did the same as the previous, but the result is promising. This is in good condition. No friction, no jamming. All parts can move smoothly. So I'm replacing the chronograph module with the new one. A good point of this movement is we can maintenance the chronograph module independently. I'm testing the chronograph. This is the moment of the truth. Yes, this is what I have wanted. The center and the minute recording hand back to the zero on a flyback. The hour recording hand doesn't because... Yes, this is an easy repair. This is the final result. The time, day, date are perfect. How about the chronograph? The hands are a bit off, but this is perfect for me. Thank you for watching this long video and I hope you enjoyed. 
I appreciate your likes and comments. I'll upload another video soon. So, if you like this sort of videos, please consider to subscribe to my channel. See you then. Bye.